If it seem evil unto you, verse 15, to serve the Lord, choose, not now, <laughs> choose you this day whom you will serve. Now, uh, really, in this verse, that is anti-abortion teachings to the, and it's, and it's, and it's, you can see it easily if you have a pea brain. You don't even need to, Candace, you don't need the Holy Spirit to see anti-abortion teachings in this verse. It's, it's, it's right there. Now don't give yourself away staring at it. <laughs> Pastor, I just don't see it. You should see it. That's why you want God to give you the Holy Ghost. See, many of us are not spirit-filled. Now we've spoken in some kind of tongue. We learn how to do it. But what the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Right. You can look, man, it can look good as all get out. And there are people who make the prettiest uh, desserts, but when you taste it, you don't taste what you see. So the green that stuff you be making, you taste what you see. I see, you see stuff. You see rice. You see the corn. You see, yeah, you see uh, chicken, shrimp. Praise the Lord. Seasonings. I don't want to look at all that, then put it in my mouth. The thing is bland. That means cheap ingredients. It all came uh, on the back of a truck. It's, it's a box meal. I can't cook, but I know that. I, hey, I'm not the best cook, but I'm one of the best tasters the world has ever produced. Watch, watch anti-abortion. If it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your fathers serve, that was on the other side of the river, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land, in whose land you now dwell. I mean, it's full of anti-abortion. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Now, let me stop right here. All you have to do to see anti-abortion is right there. It's just study the religions of the gods of the Amorites. The religions of of the gods of the land that God blessed Israel to conquer. All of those religions required animal sacrifices. All of those religions, in all of them, they, they worship Baal, they worship Molech, they let their children walk through the fire, sacrificing them for better weather, better circumstances, better, uh, 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 more improved life, and all that stuff. He said, now, because they did this, I gave you their land. I anointed you to drive them out. They don't possess the land anymore. It's yours. It's your land. I defeated them. And they got defeated because of their wicked practices that I warned you when you go into the land. Do not. Am I right? Do not adopt their practices. Don't marry their children. Don't marry their wives. Don't worship their gods. Don't take part in their customs because they will turn your heart from me. And one of the main practices was child sacrifice. It's been around a long time. 
So the very mentioning of the Amorites. See, now if you are one of the, the devotion Christians, so you don't have time to re read anything but one, one verse anyway. No wonder you don't know. You're busy. You're on the go. But you're a preacher. So I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm weigh in on you. You're an elder. You're a missionary. You're an evangelist missionary. What do you mean not knowing? Of course we should know this. If you don't know, darling, I'll give you a pass for a minute. And the 60 seconds are almost up. But you ought to know. You ought to know. See, I'm going to tell you, doctrine. Doctrine matters. Well, we're not going to just get this divide over little stuff like that. That's the one thing that you should get divided over. Doctrine supersedes love. Doctrine supersedes everything. What we believe. What we believe. Not how you feel. What we believe. Do you know what you believe? So right there. So he says choose, right? Let me deal with that. I mean, this is just, this is nothing deep because it's just basement as far as I'm concerned. If you choose to serve God, then that means you've made the choice to not serve these gods. So if you've chosen to serve the Lord, then that means all of the doctrines and teachings that the Lord teaches, that is what you've chosen to live by. You don't get to choose the Lord and then reach over and grab half of the Amorite teachings, the Canaanite teachings, the Gagasite teachings, and bring that over here. No, I'll tell you what's happened. You people have proven that you've never chosen Christ. You ain't chosen. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. Don't get me started. You haven't chosen the Lord. Chosen the Lord. It just took, I told you all a few weeks ago, if it gets overturned, it's going to smoke them out. Didn't I say it? Gonna smoke them out. We're gonna find out who's who. Gonna find out who's saved and who's not. Who believe the Bible and who do not. And all of you out there trying to make them dumb arguments online in favor of killing a baby. God is going to get you in the name of Jesus. You better get saved or the Lord is gonna do something to you. If the Lord had not already, because you know this preacher believes that the greatest curse of all is when you lose the ability to make good judgments. See, when God turns you over to yourself, that's why I say you end up in hell because you won't you you think you're right and you won't repent. You think you're right. How are you gonna be sanctified? If, if being sanctified means you can uh, uh, agree with a, a, adultery, then being uh, uh, agree with uh, abortion, then it doesn't mean anything to be sanctified. But what if you're sanctified and you've had an abortion? I'm not talking to anybody who's had an abortion. I'm talking about doctrine. Don't, 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 don't confuse the two. Jesus forgives. Jesus saves. Jesus sets free. And we're all forgiven. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about whether we as believers ought to uh, not just participate in, but become promoters and support these wicked folk who are breaking the law. Everybody's all been out of shape on January the 6th. I want to talk about uh, July the 1st. I want to talk about June the 30th. June the 29th. I want to talk about all them people who've been marching at Supreme Court justices' houses, breaking the law. Ain't nobody getting arrested. Ain't nobody going to jail. I mean, they're at their house now. And that don't bother you? But 
January 6th was bad. We, how about the summer of 2020? Two billion in damage and uh, nobody got tried. Nobody. People murdered, law enforcement killed, businesses burned up, many of the businesses not even up and running today. And nobody even got charged. Now, why that don't bother you? Churches were burned. I'll tell you why. We either don't believe or we don't know our doctrine. 